Hello, my name is Rohini Krishnamurthy. I'm a reporter at Down to Earth magazine. I cover science and technology. Today, I'm going to speak about a new report on green hydrogen. Contrary to its squeaky clean image, green hydrogen is not the holy grail of the energy transition. The report Germany's Great Hydrogen Race, which was published on March 23rd, 2023, stated that the so-called fuel of the future has severe limitations. However, a huge lobby linked to fossil fuels is pushing the hydrogen agenda. So what is green hydrogen? Green hydrogen involves splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen using electricity from renewable energy sources like sunlight or wind. Producing green hydrogen on a large scale requires vast amounts of land, water and renewable energy. And this could trigger human rights issues. Green hydrogen accounted for 0.04% of the globally produced hydrogen. This is according to the International Energy Agency. But now the European Union is planning to spend billions on public subsidies for hydrogen. The EU intends to increase green hydrogen production capacity as part of the bloc's RE Power EU plan to 20 million tonnes, half of which will come from imports. So, how is the fossil fuel lobby involved in all of this? Well, Germany has had a vital role in setting the EU's agenda on climate and industrial policies. Some 100 German businesses that have strong ties with fossil fuel industry have been identified as lobbyists along the value chain for green hydrogen. Energy loss associated with green hydrogen is a major deterrent. For example, 30% of renewable energy is lost while producing hydrogen. More losses occur when hydrogen is converted into ammonia for fertilizers. Even liquefying the gas for transport causes some major losses. Channeling huge amount of funds into green hydrogen could lead to delayed climate action. For example, concentrating on inefficiently heating homes with hydrogen would get in the way of increasing the energy efficiency of buildings. But here's another larger problem. The production of green hydrogen on a large scale by Europe will also be outsourced to developing countries, triggering land use and water conflicts, human rights violations and energy poverty. Land conflicts have already erupted in South Africa's Bougainbuy a plant port and export processing zone for green hydrogen. Furthermore, Germany is also betting on a clean blue hydrogen, which is also produced from fossil fuels, but it deploys carbon capture and storage technology, where carbon dioxide emitted during production is captured and stored underground. Blue hydrogen is claimed to be more clean, but its total greenhouse gas emissions are only moderately lower than those of grey hydrogen, the report warned. So what is grey hydrogen? Grey hydrogen is created from natural gas or methane using steam methane reformation but without capturing the greenhouse gases produced in the process. Germany also plans to import blue hydrogen and its derivatives from Norway and the United Arab Emirates. The report is the latest addition to powerful polluting industries trying to work their way around energy transition instead of doing what is best for energy security.